it's Alice and welcome back to my channel! When I planned to make this video was supposed to be just another Universal Studios vlog because I love Universal Studios and we have an annual pass so we go there pretty often and also last weekend on Sunday it was the last day to watch the Dark Arts themed light show and as you guys know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan so I just had to go so we get there and guess what? I bumped into a K-pop idol if you want to know the story, just stay tuned! Hey guys! Can't guess as to where we are right now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yet another Universal Studios vlog! My boyfriend and I went to Universal Studios on Sunday. We got there pretty late. I think it was around 3 o'clock when we got there because we knew the light show was going to be later in the evening so we weren't in a hurry. And we took it pretty easy. We went on a couple rides and then we sat down for a second. And I looked through Instagram. I see this picture. Yes, that is Inhook from Super Junior dressed all in Gryffindor at a Universal Studios. So, backstory, I really really love Inherc from Super Junior. He's one of my top three biases and for a really very long time in my K-pop fangirl life, he was my top number one bias. To prove it to you, here is a fan from SM Town 2011. So I saw that picture and my heart skipped a beat. Cause I'm like, hold on, is he here at Universal Studios while I'm here at Universal Studios? There are a lot of things going through my head. And then I was like, wait a minute, there's more than one Universal Studios first of all. And there's more than one with like Harry Potter themed stuff. So he could have been in Florida, he could have been in Osaka. Like what are the chances he was in LA? So I did a little digging into his Instagram post. And the one before was this one. He was on a plane. And the caption said, Korea to LA. And so I freaked out for a second, and I was like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I mean, sure, he's in LA, but if he really wasn't Universal Studios, what are the chances he would post a picture of himself at Universal Studios while still being there? It's not something a K-pop idol would do, right? Like, just give away where they are. That could have been yesterday. I was ready to give up. I was like, you know what? I don't want to think too much about this because it's probably yesterday. I think when I saw it, he posted it like 30 minutes before or something. So I was like, there's no way he would post a photo of himself here while like still being here, you know, it just didn't make sense to me. I was ready to give up, but my boyfriend was like, let's just like look around, you know, we have nothing better to do. Maybe he took this photo at the entrance of the castle, went on the ride, and then now he's coming out of the ride. Not creepy at all, but we kind of stood around the castle for a little bit, and in the photo he's wearing the white cap and the Gryffindor robes, and I was just kind of like looking out for this white cap. Just, you know, just because I had a tiny little bit of hope, but after I think 30 minutes, it was close to 5 o'clock and we were planning to watch this special effects show that was going on at 5 and I was like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to keep my hopes up because I'd rather not be disappointed in the end and if it happens, it happens, you know? That's what I always tell myself. And so we go watch this special effects show. While we were watching the show, I was just thinking like, mm, if I see him, what should I say to him? And I was like, no, 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 that's never gonna happen. So I was trying to like talk myself out of getting my hopes up the entire show. And then we walk out and I was like kind of disappointed at that point. I was like, oh, you know, it would have been nice to see him. He's one of my ultimate biases. And I really, really do like him a lot. But I walk out and in my head, I'm still secretly searching for that white cap. And so when I walk out of the venue, it's a really big venue with like a lot of people in it. And so everyone's just trying to like leave the venue. And I look up, I see this white cap. It was this guy that was diagonally in front of me. And I look over and I just go like, oh my god, is that him? Because it was the white cap, the Gryffindor robes, no scarf, but it was hot, so I understand. I look at his shirt, it's this plaid shirt, the same one on the photo. My boyfriend noticed the shoes, and it's the same white and gold trim shoes. And of course, I've been this guy's fan for like 10 years, I know what his side profile looks like. Not creepy at all. And so I, I stare at him, I still have like a very clear image of his back and side profile, like that's what I think about when I think of this moment. I was like, no, no way, like, we've been trying to search for this guy for half an hour, I'd already given up hope, like, and he just, like, shows up in front of me, like, what are the chances? I was like, there's no way there's that that's him, and my boyfriend's like, no, I'm pretty sure that's him. When I heard that, I was on autopilot, my 
but my feet just took me to him. I didn't even plan on what to say or anything. I had no plan. I was just like, it's him. I'm gonna go. And I walk up to him. Wanted to speak to him in Korean. So I said, Chesungeyo, which is excuse me. He looked at me and I was like, and then I forgot my Korean. My Korean just went, my mind went blank. I was on autopilot. I still don't really remember what happened. And I said, oh, are you Super Junior's Vinyuk? And he was like, yeah, I am. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Super Junior and I love D&E. And he's like, oh, thank you. I really like your new song. Thank you, thank you. Oh, can I get a picture? Oh, no pictures. Oh, it's okay. And then he turned and I guess joined his friend. Because this entire time he was like by himself, like no one was around him. And so I, I guess when he turned, he joined his friends and I turned. I don't know what I was doing. My boyfriend was leading me. I walked like two steps and then I squatted on the ground because I couldn't stand anymore. So uh, that happened. <laughs> that happened because what are the chances that he was gonna be in Universal Studios when I'm there? What are the chances that we were watching the same show at the same time? And it's a huge show at a huge venue. What are the chances we're walking out of that venue at the same time? It's like the stars and planets all aligned and everything matched up and it was fate. Like I was meant to see him. I like freaked out for a while. Like after I saw him, I was just like, my heart was beating really fast, my tummy was like hurting. I went from like, oh, I can't stand anymore to like, oh, I need to get rid of all this excess energy. We went to go get food, we went to go get a drink. Because it's not just like a random K-pop idol that I bumped into. It's like one of my favorite K-pop idols of all time. If I didn't look on Instagram, I wouldn't have known that he was here. I wouldn't have known to look out for him. Like, I would have missed him, you know, maybe. Although, to be fair, if it was someone that I didn't really care about, I wouldn't have been paying attention. The fact that it was someone that I was, like, standing for, like, 10 years, it makes sense that I recognize him at once. And, like, the whole interaction was so casual. When I saw him, he didn't look like a regular guy. Like, he definitely had a little bit of, like, a K-pop idol aura around him. He looked pretty normal. Normal. And I love that. That's just kind of proof that K-pop idols are people too, you know? They're just regular people. And to be able to see them in that setting, it feels like I've unlocked like a K-pop fangirl tier or level somehow. And I'm a little sad that I wasn't allowed to take a picture with him, but also he was kind of just there with his friends like on a personal day, like I'm, I'm gonna respect that. And like just the fact that I bumped into him was enough for me, like the fact that I spoke to him. I that he spoke back, he was looking at me while I was talking, and I'm like, just, ah, just that was, like, enough for me. <sighs> and so, yeah, that is what happened. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he posted a photo of him being at Universal Studios while still at Universal Studios, it was probably, like, A, you know, he's not really that popular anymore. I mean, kind of is still popular, but not, like, peak popular. Like, if it was, like, BTS or, like, Blackpink, like, they could never do that, you know? And the fact that it was at a Universal Studios theme park where, like, there is a barrier, like, you have to, you know, pay to come in. It's not, like, some open public area. So that makes sense, too. And it was just, like, pure luck that I was planning to go there. And I was already there when I found out that he was there. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I, like, freaked out. And I filmed this little tiny bit of video to capture the essence of how I was feeling. Freaking out. I'm still freaking out. My hands are shaking right now and I need to sit. My, my tummy hurts. My heart is beating fast. I don't know. It's pretty overwhelming. Like, he was right in front of me and I just, oh, I don't know. Pretty crazy. Anyways, then meeting him, like, in Universal Studios in LA just by chance on a day that I wasn't planning on seeing him. But, oh, okay, I need to calm down. And it's been a couple of days since Sunday. I still, like, when I fall asleep at night and when I wake up in the morning, still think about, like, oh yeah, so I just bumped into Inhyuk from Super Junior at Universal Studios. That happened. Like, no big deal. It's so surreal. And I'm very proud of myself that I kept myself calm, pretty calm and collected while I was talking to him. Like, I didn't yell out, like, oh, pass out or like something dumb like that. I didn't even tell him that he was like my favorite member. I didn't even ask to shake his hand or anything. Probably because I, I wasn't thinking and I like blanked out. This is probably like a little smidge to do with it, but I actually, this is the second time that I've bumped into Inhyuk. Not a crazy soccer fan girl, I swear. The first time that I saw him casually, not at, like a fan thing. In Korea, I went to his mom's bakery. So that wasn't like totally unexpected because I did go out to seek him, but it wasn't like totally unexpected 
Because what are the chances he's there, like, the time that I'm there, and, you know, he didn't post anything about it. I was freaking out, like, a hundred times more. If you want to hear more about that incident, I actually made a video about it, so check it out. It's a little old and outdated, but still real. At that time, after it happened, I really thought, like, Oh my god, I used up all of my K-pop luck for that one moment, but like, no, this happened! So now I'm really out of K-pop luck because I used it all for this one moment, bumping into him. Like, I've met K-pop idols face-to-face -face before, like, but it's mostly like, high touch. Mina from TWICE, I saw her twice at KCON. Ha, TWICE. Harry, my like, love of my life, I saw her at KCON. Jin Young from B1A4, I had high touch with him twice at a concert in New York. And I always tell people like high touch is so worth it, even if it's for two seconds with their idol, like it's so worth it. But to like bump into your K-pop idol, like completely unexpected, completely in the casual setting is like I uh, I don't even have any like words for it. It's just so crazy that it happened and I'm never gonna get over it. And sometimes I think like maybe I was just dreaming, but it happened. <laughs> So I don't know what else to say except for it was really crazy. I didn't embarrass myself. <laughs> Hopefully, I might have. And if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. I think that's it. I have nothing else to say. If I keep going on, it'll just be me repeating myself about how crazy and unexpected this was. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have had any other interactions with any K-pop idol, like if it was casually or not casually. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear all your stories. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.